This video will describe and demonstrate the process of replacing the power steering pump V-belt and the AC and alternator ribbed belt on the Porsche 944. In addition to inspecting the accessory belts at each 30,000 mile interval, the belts may also require servicing when there's belt squeal coming from the front of the engine, if there's a complete belt failure, when cracks and wear are observed, and for other engine repair like timing and balance shaft belt replacement, among other things when those belts need to be removed. To access the accessory belts, you'll first need to raise the front of the car on jack stands or ramps. Then you can easily inspect or remove the belts. The V-shaped design of the power steering pump belt provides excellent traction along with a smooth, quiet operation. So if you're hearing excessive belt squeal from the front of the car, it's more than likely being caused by the serpentine belt on the AC and alternator setup, but that's a good indication to inspect the condition of both belts. And if either of them are dry, brittle, or cracking or fraying, it's time to go ahead and replace the belts on the car. Below the front of the car, you'll find the V-belt for the power steering pump and the ribbed belt for the AC compressor and alternator. There are two tensioning rods that need to be released to detension and remove the belts. The power steering side has 13 millimeter lock nuts and the AC compressor has 17 millimeter lock nuts, one on either side of the turnbuckle. It's important to first release the pivot bolts on each of the mounting brackets as to not damage the accessories or the brackets. The power steering pump features 13 millimeter fittings in the front and in the rear, and the AC compressor has a 17 millimeter bolt in front and a 13 millimeter in the rear. With those released, the adjustment arms can be loosened and the belts removed. accessory belts removed, you can perform other needed work on the car or proceed to replace the belts as necessary. The accessory belts are routed over these pulleys uh, below the car and the ribbed belt is for the alternator, AC compressor, and this larger pulley. And the V-belt is for the power steering pump and the V-belt pulley. Once those are appropriately positioned, we'll go ahead and apply tension by twisting the turnbuckles. And these turnbuckles have a locking nut on each side. It's two 17 millimeter connections on the AC compressor and two 13 millimeter connections for the power steering pump. We'll then test the tension by applying an upward thumb pressure. The V belt gets a deflection of just five millimeters and the AC compressor is a little bit tighter at just two millimeters of upwards deflection. Once it's appropriately adjusted, we can go ahead and lock down the pivot bolt connections on top of the power steering pump, which are 13 millimeter, and as well on the AC compressor, there's a 17 millimeter in front and a 13 millimeter in back. With the accessory belts installed and tensioned, you can go ahead and start the car, check for excessive belt noise, and adjust as needed.